If you want to train smarter and have more accurate heart rate zones, then you need to know your lactic threshold. In this video, I'll show you how to find it. So what is your lactic threshold? Well, your lactic threshold is your maximum heart rate or your maximum running pace at which your body begins to accumulate lactic acid rapidly. Now for most runners, this is somewhere between your 10K race pace and your half marathon race pace. Now in theory, if you can keep your running or your heart rate just below this threshold, you should be able to run for a lot longer before fatigue sets in. Now the most accurate way of carrying this test out is to go to a university lab and have a series of blood samples taken whilst running on a treadmill. But we all haven't got access to this sort of facility. However, if you have one of these Garmin devices, you'll be able to carry out this test yourself. Although not quite as accurate as a laboratory test, it'll still give you a good idea of where your lactic threshold stands. Now to carry out this test, you must have already set up your Garmin watch with your correct date of birth, weight, gender, and have a current VO2 max reading already measured. In addition to this, you'll also need a chest heart rate monitor, such as the Run HRM, the Swim HRM, or the Tri HRM. Now there are two ways you can enable your watch to measure the lactic threshold. One is to enable auto detect, but this doesn't always yield a result due to the specific requirements needed to measure this during your run. The better way of carrying out this test, in my opinion, is to have the watch guide you through the test. So here's how to set the watch up. Now the watch I'm using is a Phoenix 5X Plus, but the setup is similar for most Garmin watches. If you find that threshold test hasn't appeared in the options, then scroll down to training and select threshold test there. Once the watch detects your heart rate strap, the watch will then give you a brief overview of the test. So a warm up run for 10 to 15 minutes, and then the watch will start to ramp up your target pace until your lactic threshold is detected. So now the watch is set up, let's go outside to see how the test works in practice. Once the lactic test is started, the watch will guide me through a warm up. Now this should last somewhere between 10 and 15 minutes. Now the warm up should be carried out at a nice gentle pace and should be done so to avoid injury later on in the test when the intensity levels are ramped up. Now it's entirely up to you how long you'd like to make the warm up last for. But once you feel fully warmed up, it's simply a case of pressing the lap button to move on to the actual test. The watch will then display the duration of the next stage and also your target heart rate zone. And you'll know you'll be running at the right intensity level as the arrow will be pointed towards the green section on the watch face. Once the lactic threshold has been detected, the watch will then ask you to accept the new data. If you feel the test wasn't conducted properly, you can also decline this. Once you've accepted, you should then update your heart rate zones using your new lactic threshold. This will ensure all your training will be at the correct intensity levels moving forwards. Now I suggest repeating this test every four to six weeks. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please like and subscribe to the channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when new videos are uploaded. So all that leaves me to say now is thanks very much for watching and I'll see you again in the next video. Oh, 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 oh,